Hello, I'm Kyle. I'm the technical content developer at Maple Systems. Welcome to the Maple Systems video training series. In this video, I'll be showing you how to turn on the digital output using pulse width modulation. In Mapware 7000, I'll be using an HMC 4000 series, specifically an HMC 4070 with an HMC 3 M1210 Y0201 IO module. Here is an example of the digital output for an LED light using pulse width modulation. You can also find this wiring diagram on the pulse width modulation tutorial page on the Maple Systems website. Okay, first thing you want to do is configure your I.O. for pulse width modulation. So go to I.O. allocation, expansion, slot one, right click, hit edit. Model will be the HMC3 M1210Y0201 V2 model. Check off download configuration settings, hit configure. And for PWM output, channel one will be used in this case. Configuration will be normal mode. And in this case, we're gonna set the frequency to 1000. And the on duty register will be set to 50. Hit confirm. You can see it's configured down here now. Hit close, hit OK. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is look over the tags we'll be using. And these tags are created when you configure the pulse width modulation. So the first one is going to be slot one, channel one, on, duty, or max frequency setting register. And like I did before, when we were configuring the I.O., the initial value will be 50 in this case. It can be anything between 0 and 100, but in this case I chose 50. And that is the, the duty cycle tag that we'll be using. For the second one, will be slot one, channel one, on, frequency or minimum frequency setting register. And for this, the initial value will be 1000. For the module I'm using, the max frequency is 1000 hertz. The third one will be slot one, channel one, PWM config register and for this example I chose normal PWM which is initial value of 1 and the fourth one is slot 1 channel 1 pulse enable flag and this just enables the PWM signal output okay the next thing we're going to create is a base screen for the user interface on the HMC device so here I've created one and I've called it PWM. You can do this by right clicking on base screen, click new base screen and name it. Uh, on the base screen I've already created all the objects I'll need and I will walk through them one by one. The first thing I created was a numeric data entry and you do that by going to draw, input objects, data entry, numeric entry and place it here. The same thing for the frequency. So I'll show you how to adjust the properties on the right over here. First, I assigned it a tag name. So for the duty cycle, I'm going to use slot one, channel one on duty or max frequency setting register. And you do that by finding it here in the tag names. So this one right here you'd use. And for a maximum value, I put 100 for minimum zero. And I also changed the format to have three digits and zero digits after decimal point. And for the frequency data entry, I chose for a tag name slot one, channel one, frequency or minimum frequency setting register. And for maximum value will be 1000 because in this case, the maximum on the IO module I'm using is 1000, minimum zero. Uh, for format, number of digits would be four. The next thing I created is an advanced bar graph and you can do that by going to advanced objects selecting advanced bar graph first i assigned it to that same tag that duty cycle tag as well as adjusted the maximum value minimum value 
uh, to represent the duty cycle, 0 to 100. Also for the fill color properties, you can click this and for each color patch I adjusted it to represent an LED being dim from 0 to 20 and then it gets brighter as you get above 60, 80, 100, the brightest at 100 of course and you can do that by clicking each of these and adjusting the color however you like and also I adjusted the scale divisions uh, for the major division I chose to have five one two three four five and the minor division I do not have anything so I chose one and another thing I created is a advanced meter which is going to represent the voltage reading on a multimeter that you will see later on. So for this, I took away a border. So by do, you can do that by going to border, select no. For a tag name, I chose that same tag for the duty cycle, slot one, channel one on, duty or max frequency setting register. For the value end, I chose 100 to represent the duty cycle. And for the maximum display range, I chose 24 to represent 24 volts, so 0 to 24. The last thing I created is a toggle bit for the pulse enable flag. So you do that by going to draw, buttons, bit action, toggle bit. And for this one, I assign a tag name, and that's slot 1, channel 1, pulse enable flag. So you find that in your tag list. And also, I selected feedback tag uh, yes. And so for feedback tag name, will be the same tag. And for the on text, I chose pulse enable on. And for off text, pulse enable off. And so when you first go online, it'll be off and you'll have to click the toggle bit to turn it on. Okay, now that you have your base screen created, you can go online. So go to mode, go online with download. And if you're downloading for the first time, make sure you have firmware checked off. In this case, I've already downloaded once, so I just need to have application checked off. Hit download. And it may take a few seconds for the application to load on the HMC device. Once it does, in the compile window, it will say run. That's how you know you're online. Everything is working properly. Okay, now we are online and I'm looking at VNC viewer here. This is the user interface on the HMC device. As you can see, the duty cycle is set to 50%, which is what we set it to in our IO configuration, as well as the frequency is set to 1000 Hertz. Now let's turn on the pulse enable flag. And the multimeter is reading around 12 volts because the duty cycle is set to 50%. Let's change that to one. And now it's reading around zero. Let's change this to 75. And it's reading around 18, 19, and let's change this to 99, and it should read close to 24, and it may be a little under, and it is. Now I also want to demonstrate when the frequency is low, so I created another base screen, and on this base screen I just have the pulse enable flag, as well as the duty cycle, and the frequency. Before I start demonstrating, just keep in mind that the LED or the output, when it is set to a duty cycle of 10, it'll be on 10% of the time. Or if it's set to 50, it'll be on 50% of the time. Or 90, it'll be on 90% of the time. So to demonstrate showing low frequency, let's change this to one. And we'll keep the duty cycle at 90. And let's enable the pulse. And you can see from the camera feed that the LED is pulsing, as well as the multimeter is flashing 24 volts. Now if I change the duty cycle to 
10. Let's see what the camera feed looks like. Now we're unable to see the voltage on the multimeter itself. Uh, it is just too fast, but the LED is still pulsing. And so let's change this back to 90. And now you can see the voltage is also flashing on the multimeter as well as the LED. And this is how you would set up pulse width modulation. This concludes the video. To get more information, please visit the Pulse Width Modulation tutorial page on the Maple Systems website. Thank you for watching.